Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. Sorry, the videos haven't been coming as fast as, I, as I'd like. I've been a bit busy, but I thought I wanted, I wanted to talk about an album today that um, is this band's, uh, one of their greatest albums for me. It's not my favourite album, but it could be. It could be. It's, it, you know, it's up in the, the top part of the, the list. But I've reviewed it before, of course, but... Um, you know, I have had thoughts of later on wanting to do my... I've been asked, but I'm very reluctant to do it because it's very hard. My top 10 albums of anyone of all time, you know. No compilations, no live, just studio albums. Top 10 albums by everyone included, you know. You could have two by one band in there or a top 20 even. Now, if anyone would like me to see me do that, I've heard a, lot, a couple of people have. Let me know. It'll be very difficult for me to do, but I probably can work work it out somehow. But I want to talk about uh, an album which could would figure, I think, in that. Or uh, for me, it'd be a contender for that top 10 or 20 albums of all time. And it's that band again, ACDC, and it's Power Rage. Now, growing up, I always loved this album, but it was always in my you know, top three or so, you know, around there, you know, one of their best without being their best for me. A lot of people's favourite album and it clocks in at about 40 minutes. As I said, I've reviewed this before, but I just want to talk a bit about it because it had a classic, a classic, li classic lineup of the band of um, uh, Bon Scott on vocals, of course, you know, Angus and Young lead guitar, Malcolm, Rith Rith Malcolm Young rhythm, rhythm guitar. Cliff Williams, his first album on, on bass, bass, and Phil Rudd on drums, of course. And it was recorded, their last album to be recorded in Australia and produced by Evander and Young, of course. Now, this is the uh, the mid-90s remaster. I haven't got the latest mastering. I don't know if, it, if any of you, is that, does it sound any dip, uh, better? Uh, I wouldn't know, but there was the 2003 mastering. But back to the album... Um, as I said, always been up there. It's a very hard rocking roar album. Um, the lyrics are a bit, uh, a bit, um, probably Bond's, has been said, Bond's finest set of lyrics, which is probably true. There's some uh, good, um, uh, you know, storylines in there that Bond is, is a great storyteller in his writing. He can paint a picture. And a great vocals on here from him as well. But yeah, they had some great riffs on this album. And uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the album, of course. You know, Rock and Roll, rock and roll Damnation, um, which um, a classic opening song, really. You know, it's three and a half minutes. You know, it's so catchy. Uh, uh, you know, it comes, it, it, it makes its present felt, its presence felt. And always love that song. And then six minutes, just over six minutes, is Down Payment Blues. Unmistakable um, riff, that um, um, that opening riff. It's, this has got Malcolm Young all over it. Um, and a, a fantastic blistering guitar solo from Angus. But, and, and, you know, another, just so much power within the track. It's, um, uh, you know, so much raw power in there. And then give me a bullet. It's a bit on the, um, a bit on the, uh, uh, not poppy side, but it's a bit pulled back, I guess. And it's got a, a good rhythm to it. I always like that one, without being my favourite on the album. But then you get these two classic songs here: um, uh, Riff Raff and uh, Sin City. Riff Raff is. I have to put those two songs in my top 10 ACDC songs of all time. I, I just, I couldn't imagine not being in there, actually. Uh, I love those two tracks, as well as the first three, of course. And um, just w wonderful tracks. And, uh, you know, around this time, the band was on fire. They did this album, they did the live album, then next year, Highway to Hell. So they, at the peak of their powers, you could say, around this time, so... It was a great, a great time for the band, and um, 
they were just killing them at that point. And then what's next to the moon, um, which uh, it's not real raw or anything, but I find it rather catchy. Um, you know, it's got that um, bit of a pop vibe to it, but it's it's quite catchy actually. Really love that one. Gone Shootin' is very interesting. Uh, it just plays out like a basic rock track, I guess. And But I love the lyrics from Bon in there. It, it, um, you should have a look at the lyrics. Very interesting lyrics. And then uh, the rocking up to my neck in you, which is a very underrated track for me. I mean, I think they did that um, in the Stiff Upper Lip Tour. They brought that, that song back. I don't know if they played it at the show I went to, but on the DVD from Germany, they played it. The Stiff Upper Lip DVD. Um, I believe that is in, in on the DVD, if I'm not mistaken, but I believe at that time they brought it back up to my neck in you, which is a great rocking track. It just rocks out. Um, really good stuff. And Kicked in the Teeth and um, Classic Bond. That um, uh, it starts with him just with his um, voice and then the guitar comes in, of course. But, you know, one of their best sounds for sure. And it has to be a contender for one of the has to be one of the greatest hard rock albums of all time. A lot of people would say it is the best hard rock album. But as I said, guys, I've I've reviewed I reviewed this before, but I just wanted to, um, to talk more more about it, a bit more about it, and and give you my intentions if I if, if I do um uh, top ten um top albums of all time or um top twenty albums of all time. But I just a few thoughts on Power Rage today. And um, it was the second last album of Bon, of course. Then Highway to Hell came along. And then, unfortunately, Bon passed in 1980. Then Brian came on back in black. And you go, it goes on from there, of course. After that, the rest is history, as they say. But, um, yeah, really, um, not too many albums as good as this, you know, by any band, I would say. I mean, it's not everyone's favourite ACDC album. And it's not mine at the moment, but, you know, I would have it in my top three. It'd be number two or three, I would say, at this point. But I will do an updated ACDC ranking down the line because I've done a couple already, But down the, if you'd like to see that, of course. But um, just a few thoughts on Power Rage. What do you think of this, guys? Because um, I reckon it's um, a great rock and roll album, really great hard rock and roll, really... Um, Pure, and in its purest form, you could say. But there you go, guys. A classic, no doubt, 1978. A must-get album and one of my favourites of all time, actually. There you go, guys. Bye for now. Give me your thoughts down below and please subscribe. Bye.